guys, it's Angelina and Dima here from Walking Edge World and today we are coming to you with a new hike to Peak del Moros that we discovered here in our region of Catalan Pyrenees. As you may know already, this year we've been doing hiking mostly in the area where we live in Pyrenees and this is another one of this series. It is a one-day circuit hike starting and finishing in Fonarma village, around 12 or 14 kilometers long depending on where you start and is of easy to moderate difficulty. Peak del Moros is 2138 meters high and so we have more or less 450 meters up to do. From Peak del Moros we should get some great views of the Cerdania Valley with its endless fields and surround mountain ranges. It should be a beautiful hike today, so let's begin! at the end of September already and the weather the last week or so, a couple of weeks, hasn't been stable at all with lots of rainy cloudy days which is not typical of this region of Sardinia where it normally has more than 300 days a year sunny days and also we see on the weather forecast that the next couple of days would be super cold right here and we see even the probability of some snow coming and also temperature dropping down to zero degrees Celsius, which is crazy. But yeah, we're still excited for the autumn hiking to come this October and we hope for some beautiful weather and beautiful trails. And we hope that today we chose the right day with a good weather. We are not following the particular trail right now, but we found the blue sign number 4. It's probably for trail runners and for now we are following this way. Also we use our GPS on the phone as always. We see the angle of the trail started to decline a bit more uphill and we have a little bit more challenge of trail to come but nothing too crazy so far. This trail goes mostly through the pine forest paths but now we came out to the mountain plain where there are lots of cows pasturing so we think the trail is going to be the mix of both and yeah we're starting to get some wonderful views behind me as you can see the Pyrenees ranges and yeah it is really nice but there is some wind coming our way blowing in the face and we see that there are some clouds in front of us hopefully they will come you know by the side of us
now we haven't been following any particular trail, just the fourth number trail running ones. And now we see that there is like the yellow sign, which is normally the sign of the local trails in France. And it says the direction be the Moros, which means that we may not have more problems with navigation and confusing trails. So it's going to be more definite from now. And it's only 4.3 kilometers left. So here we go. first part of a few kilometers to the peak are going along the dirt car road which is pretty easy and very gentle uphill so yeah nothing challenging so far and we'll see how it will continue but this trail that we're going on right now is called like the panoramic trail and we can clearly see why because you have the wide angle views of the mountain ranges and it's not covered in the forest you know how it normally happens so this is quite nice. follow the trail number two and not follow the cow's pass which are crossing about the official trail and can get you confused so yeah this one is the right one now we're turning left to the peak all the way there This part of the trail is very reminiscent to us to the last day of Trail de Canigou Trail that we did just recently this autumn and when we were hiking up to the mountain plateau on our last day and yeah it was like very similar trail but we had to do more of elevation gain. The views are incredible from here also we got the 360 degree views so this is gonna be epic we think. the top point of our hike Pic del Mores. The views are pretty incredible from here, but there is a storming wind that is blasting around like crazy. So yeah, we basically feel like it is not the best day at all to hike to any peak, basically. This is not the highest point, but we didn't realize that it would be so windy today. So we definitely can feel that the weather is changing or something is happening, you know, the air mass is changing from warm to cold or something like that is happening. So yeah, unfortunately we can be for a long time here, can take as many photos as we'd like. But fortunately we'll have another chance to come up here in better weather. You can still appreciate the views and you know the potential of this place, you know, this hike, which is quite easy. You know, you are following the Dorka roads all the time. And you know, this is an easy level for sure, not even the moderate level. Uh, we are pretty happy with that. And yeah, in a good weather, calm and warm, you can enjoy, you know, the landscapes, enjoy the route and take your time and well take lots of great photos so these are our conclusions for that well and now we're gonna get down and still film something on the way
on the way down we decided to take another trail which is like the shortcut to Von Romeo village where we started and now we're back at the same part of the trail that we did uh, when we started and yeah we can say that it goes pretty easy downhill a bit confusing can be because there's lots of little paths of cows and horses as we said so it is not like a definite definite trail so you have to have a map ideally at hand or a GPS but otherwise it is very easy downhill and uphill you can't really name it like that uh, like conquering the peak it's more about walking peacefully in the forest and enjoying the views and this is one of the reasons we think why we love this region so much because you are in the mountains enjoying the views you have so many trails to choose from and even if you wandered away from the official trail you can easily find your way out following just little paths and stuff and yeah you can just get lost in the forest you know and enjoy the nature and this is what's nice about it and also the trails are pretty easy so you can do you know a lot of kilometers just going around this area we have finished the trail and can say that it was beautiful interesting hike easy trail all the way through 360 degree views from the peak where you are surrounded by the mountain ranges on all sides and you can see many attractions of the region so we can definitely recommend this trail if you want something easy but yet very beautiful enjoy the nature surroundings and incredible views on the way but just make sure to choose the right day with the good weather not like we did <laughs> because it was super windy and we couldn't enjoy you know our time being at the peak and taking pictures and stuff and we were rushing downhill already but this was our experience and we hope that yours would be much better and more enjoyable as always check out our Pyrenees playlist if you're interested to learn more about this region and subscribe to our youtube channel for more hiking series we'll see you very soon on our next hike bye guys until then thank you so much for watching Leave a comment below to let us know how you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Also visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Have a beautiful day everybody and until very soon!